you guys want to know what kind of day it is, check it out. Busting out the old. If I could find them. Da, 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 da. Haven't seen these bad boys in a while. Remember we used to go hiking literally two, three times every single week back when we were in LA. And that's because we lived right next to the mountains. So over here, I found out about a hike called Mike, uh, Mike, Mount Charleston. And it's only about 30 minutes outside of Vegas. And everyone tells me that it's 20 degrees lower than Vegas. So it's already starting to cool down. It feels really good. Like I think today it'll only be high 80s. In the morning it was like um, low 70s. So going up to the mountains should be even cooler. I've been wanting to go, but just with the heat, I'm like, oof, I don't know. I don't want to take that chance and fry the little dude. Since the little dude doesn't have school today, I was like, let's go on a little hike, get some of his wiggles out, and dust off these bad boys. Now I just gotta find his. I haven't even looked for them since we moved, so they could be literally anywhere, but they're right there. Look how cute they are. Oh my God, look at these little things. <laughs> Do you hear that? All right, I have no idea what this guy's up to, but he came over and he was like, you have to vlog me. All right, vlogging you. What? You put a car on a truck? Is that what you wanted to show me? It is beautiful, that's your artwork? Yes. That's awesome. Well, that was a different one. That's a different one? What do you mean? Yeah, not my name. Uh, no, that's a different one. That's a different one. What's a different one? Mama, can I show Mama something? Show Mama. Where's Mama? Mama. Up there? Look, Mama. What is that? I need to Cool. I'm going to hit the red Oh, I see what you did. Super cool. What did he do? Because I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> uh, so he created this bridge. Yeah. And now there's just cars on both sides. And that's it. It's literally that simple. Are you making some BS up? No, it's literally that simple. How complex do you want his stuff but to be? Like, the east, east but, versus the west? But, but that That's not very complex either. The other side is a scooter right there. Complicated. The truck is right there, and then the race car right there. Nice. Like this! Owie. Hey, Taika. Yeah? Did you put on your socks and your shoes? Yeah. Perfect. Just the way they're supposed to be. Okay, let me see your hike. That's how you're gonna hike today? <laughs> I didn't open my hand. That's how you know he has Gio's jeans, because he's such a freaking troll. Look at this guy. Come on, look at this. What? I saw that already. Again. Oh, you want me to see it again? Hey, you got stinky hands? No, no stinky. You got stinky hand feet. What's up, beautiful babies? So we've driven like 40 minutes away from our home and we've entered Mount Charleston. Look at this beautiful place. This is gorgeous. The first time we've ever been out here. And this little dude over here woke up at five in the morning. Oh, he was napping, but now he's waking up. Hey, good morning. Well, yeah, that doesn't mean he's awake yet. That just means he's His eyes up. are open. Yeah, but like, we don't know what's gonna happen in the next, like, 10, 20 minutes. But look at this gorgeous place. Holy There's a God. town in there, see that? They call it Old Town. Oh, there. And I only know that because I saw a sign. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Okay, so this is our, our new Big Bear, because we were about an hour away from Big Bear. No, like 40 minutes away, I think still. Um, when we lived out in Glendora. And now we're in um, Summerlin. So from Summerlin to here, it's about 40 minutes. And this is gorgeous. This I is more of like a mixture between Big Bear and Yosemite. Because it feels more wild and dense than Big Bear, but it's not, not quite <laughs> like Yosemite. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one. Oh. Oh. Don't you dare make fun of me. 
Look at this CUNY dude. Social media ready. And you yep. made fun of the back of my truck seat. I'm ready. It's social oh, media. Oh, is that where you keep your tripod? Uh, everything. My first aid kit, everything. Yeah, I'm always going to make fun of you, dude. What the hell? Oh, bless. Doesn't matter how cool I think you are. You think I'm cool? Nope. We got the duty ready. This guy's trying to take a picture of his truck against this beautiful background. I don't blame him. Don't throw it at any cars or my truck, please. Yeah, don't throw the rock at all. I know. We have to say all these things because this dude is unpredictable. His behavior is like, I would have never thought to tell you not to do that. So, we got to stay on our toes for sure with this dude. Look at this cute ass dude. We ended up buying him hiking boots, like two or three sizes too big because I'm not going to buy him shoes every freaking six months so he better grow into those cute little dudes look at them cute dudes you look good really oh thank you that's one way to have him stop <laughs> look how majestic this looks it's freaking huge look at that wow oh my goodness it will fall it's big huh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everyone falling and getting blood is a new thing now. He always thinks uh, everyone's gonna fall, and then instead of dying, he just goes, "The blood." Yeah. Yeah. Like you're gonna die. He goes, "I'm gonna have blood." I'm like, "Yeah." He goes, "Oh no." He didn't care about the death part. Yeah, he just cares you have blood. Look how big this tree is. Okay, I'm hiding from Taika. Let's see if he finds me. I'm not in a too difficult of a spot. <laughs> he found me. Hey, there you are. You catch me. Your, your turn? Okay, your turn. I'll try to catch you. This is gonna be such an easy find because he has a bright red shirt. And I think him running in this high altitude made him give up because he's just walking now. Game over. What'd you say, Taika? Oh, you wanna try to find me? Okay, give me count to 20, okay? Now, yeah, now you gotta wait for me to leave. Found this little spot. Let's see if he finds me. I'm in the shadows. This is what my surroundings look like. It's a little bit more difficult than earlier. And I might even lay down just to see if you can find me. Let's see. So he just passed me, which means he didn't find me. And I'm laying down too, like this. So I made it just a little bit more difficult. What do you see? You saw a little squirrel? What do you see, monkey? <gasps> what is that? Squirrel. It's a You gotta say it again. Maybe he didn't hear you. Talk to the squirrel again. Maybe he didn't hear you. Squirrel, get out! They'll have food. You found a pine cone. 
Did he hear you? I have your favorite pine cone. I know you're in there. Get out, get out. I wonder if it's a chipmunk and not a squirrel. We don't know anything. I know you're in there. Get out, get out. You can go to the, look, the, go, go to the bottom, to the base. And you can see inside the trunk. See if he's in there. He was looking at us like he wanted to invite you inside oh, his house. But, oh no, I see a little spiky thing. Is he in there? No, I see he went to that way. Oh, maybe you scared him now. He's hiding. Oh, I think something is bright up there. Oh, no, no, no. A yellow spider. Oh, no. Come out of here. So look at that. Hey, Hi. Taika, look. I found chocolate. No, no, I need to say chocolate. You say poop. Oh, okay, I messed up the scene. Hey, look, I found pooped. No, it's not poop, it's chocolate. <laughs> Ew, are you gonna eat chocolate? Ew, yucky. It's, it's, how much is that? That's a lot. You're covering it with some dirt? Yeah. Hey, I think we're by the cars now. <gasps> Let's go. Time to eat yummy lunch. Hey, Taika, I found more chocolate. I found some chocolate. I found some chocolate. <laughs> Mama found the ultimate chocolate. Let's go look at Mama's chocolate. Let's go. Yeah, that one was dark chocolate. Mama says she found. You don't like dark chocolate? Mama says she found the ultimate chocolate. Which one? Mama found milk chocolate. Look at milk chocolate. Oh, that one's poop. Are you sure? Are you sure that's poop? You do? You want to smell it to make sure? No, you smell it. <laughs> we are now at the Red Rock Casino, about to grab some lunch. I am starting to become a pretty big fan of casinos, especially the off strip ones, because I realized what they are. They're pretty much a mall with a built in hotel and shows and with entertainment pretty much all day long, meaning you can gamble whenever you want. Because in this uh, casino, you have Lucille's, you have Yard House, you can buy clothes, you can go shopping, there's high-end Italian restaurant, there's a bowling alley, there's a movie theater. So it's like all this family fun stuff, but if you're tired, you can get a, a room here. And if you just want to kill some time, you can play some games, and I'm starting to realize that every single one of these bigger casinos are pretty much a mall with a built-in hotel and shows, spa. It's so cool. So it's cool that like all over Vegas, it's just like a bunch of these fun centers. So it's like experiencing different worlds. I can go in one world and try all the different restaurants and whatever. And since uh, this one is on our way back home, we're like, let's go in here and grab some American cafe food. See any goodies you like? Ooh, look at all these snackalooskies. Oh. What? Oh. Your son. I like these casino, like house diners or house cafes because they usually have a little bit of everything for you to choose from. So the Aria has one like that, the Bellagio has one like that, and the one in Red Rock is called Lucky Penny. So there's like everything from a prime rib dip to like steak and fries, grilled cauliflower, grilled salmon, you get salads, all kinds of starters. A lot of these places have breakfast like all day just because you know people like to wake up later once they party and stuff. I have my eye on the prime rib dip. That sounds bomb. Shaved prime rib, crunchy bucket, aju. Mmm, Tiger got the yummy chicken finger. This looks really good. That salad does look really good. Turkey cob. I got the French dip on the crispy baguette. Ooh, yeah. With the aju right there. Hey, look at all that meat though. Oh my goodness. Look at that meat. Let me see Tiger's reaction. 
Oh, what was, what was his reaction? I missed that. Do the gun. What were you doing to Papa? What were you doing to Papa? Show me. Just got one of the fattest care packages from Hyperfly, and I'm super excited because they make really dope stuff, like this really cool bag right here. They're a jujitsu company, and they're kind of like us, Barber Brigade, where we're a boutique, um, like boutique brand in a emerging industry so for them it's bjj for us it's powerlifting and strength and conditioning it's strength training and because they know Ma bear is gonna start on her jujitsu journey they sent her this super sick gi it's called the icon and i love the colors already because i like super clean designs and this one's super clean look at the details it's just white and light gray or silver and Ma Bear is actually gonna have her very first jujitsu class tomorrow. Ma Bear, how do you feel about that? Hey, where'd you go? Ma Bear. <laughs> hey, there's two people in there. <laughs> hey, what's going on? There's two people in there. Okay, well, I don't want to hurt you with my watch bed. Okay, How do you wait. feel about taking jujitsu tomorrow? Your very first jujitsu class ever. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm so excited. I've been like, I couldn't even sleep last night because I was just what? so What? Like stoked. that? Yeah, which is tripping me out because I hate, if you've known and followed us for a minute, you know that I hate contact sports and I'm claustrophobic. Yeah, if you've been like watching JK News and just following and heard all the stories. Yeah, so... Yeah, the fact that I'm excited to do this is tripping me out, but I'm so stoked. That's so cutie. I'm so happy for you, and Thank I'm excited you. for you. Thank you. Because Taika's actually been doing jujitsu. way better than me. He's actually been doing jujitsu for like three months now. No. Didn't he start we in May? Here. We lived here. No, we moved in in May. Oh, uh, so maybe, so it's June. No, maybe... Vegas. Like a month no, like at least two months. At least two months. It's yeah. September now. Wow, you're so dedicated, dude. Yeah, he goes five times a week. But but that jujitsu is fun. It's fun. Yeah, but yeah, today you were grappling and you were doing live rolls and you were on top the whole time. I was on top of the whole time. Yeah, maybe you could Remember teach you Mama stripping. a thing or two. He was stripping. It was like shrimp. Yeah. He wanted to get out because uh, there was but, at one point where the little kid was on top of him. Fish. You were dead fish. You're not supposed to be a dead fish. You have to be a good partner. Yeah, you gotta have a wide base. Remember, you put your knees down so you, you keep the weight on them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, wide base. You keep the, the your weight down. Yeah, you don't want to be a dead fish for your partner. Okay, now the race is on. Who gets their first stripe? Taika or oh, Ma Bear? Taika. Sure Taika. Taika. Ding, 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 ding. That's cutie. Yep, we're gonna be a jiu jitsu family. Because Ma Bear is going to take a couple of uh, classes. And after that, once my schedule frees up, I'm going to join in. And we're going to be a jiu-jitsu family. And it's going to be so cool. So that's just a new part of our journey with our family. And I can't wait for you guys to follow along. And thank you guys for exploring Vegas with us, Mount Charleston. Who knew that there'd be a giant forest in the middle of Vegas? When you think about Vegas, you think about desert. You think about casinos. I was not thinking about straight up like Yosemite Junior. That was really cool. And on the trail, uh, someone, out, someone else actually put us on to this place called Cathedral Mountain Little Falls. And that's a whole other side that we have to go check out. But see you guys tomorrow and love you guys. Good night.